What's up, YouTube? Just got my dreadlocks tightened. Just lined up my hair. Look at that clean, it's clean. Look at that clean form. But anyways, today I want to talk to you guys about body types, also known as soma types. classify themselves into one of three body type categories. We have the ectomorph. Now the ectomorph is categorized, if you didn't already know, as someone who has tiny joints, who is thin, who can't put on muscle, and who is very lean and has a fast metabolism. A mesomorph, on the other hand, is someone who naturally holds a lot of muscle, has decent sized joints and uh, bone structure, doesn't necessarily stay really lean, but doesn't get fat either, is somewhere in the, right in the middle. And then last we have the endomorph. Now the endomorph is usually short and stocky, has really big joints, has a propensity for uh, putting on muscle as well, but also holds a lot of fat and can't lose fat. Now, let's, let's break this down now. So who came up with this idea? The person who came up with this idea was a psychologist. I'm gonna repeat that. A psychologist came up with this idea and his name was William Sheldon. And what he studied was something called Phrenology. Now, phrenology is pretty much a bunch of bullshit and is the idea that you can look at someone's body type, aka their soma type, and you can determine their personality. Now, this is clearly false and has been debunked throughout the years, but this was the train of thought during this time period. This is the 1950s, by the way. There are two main reasons I want to bring up of why this idea of endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph just is blatantly not true. Number one is that well, actually there are a lot of reasons, so I'll scratch that. There are not just two reasons, there's multiple reasons. But like I said, William Sheldon was a psychologist. He came up with this idea simply by looking at people and saying, oh, you're fat, you're an endomorph, you're a little bit bigger than average, you're a mesomorph, and you're really skinny, you're an ectomorph. There's no actual scientific fact when it comes to this. Just people regurgitating this bullshit over and over and over again, saying, oh, I'm an ectomorph, I can't put on muscle, oh, I'm an endomorph, I can't lose weight. No, that's not. It's not true. You're just making excuses. And why are you making excuses? Because one, your metabolism or the main thing that separates an ectomorph, mesomorph, and an endomorph is their ability to hold fat or their ability to stay lean. And your metabolism is not regulated by your body type. There are people that are fat who have fat, meta fat metabolism and there are people who are thin who have slow metabolisms. Your metabolism is regulated by hormones, enzymes, and chiefly your thyroid gland, a gland, regulated, a gland located in your throat. So this is completely false. Secondly, your body composition and your body type, what you look like, is determined by your lifestyle choices. So what you do in your life, what you choose to eat, how active you choose to be, these are the things that are going to determine what your body looks like and the activities you choose to do. So obviously, if you choose to be a distance runner, you are not going to be an endomorph. You are not going to be a mesomorph. You are going to be an ectomorph. Form always follows function. If you need to run long distances, you're going to be thin because that's the type of body that runs long distances. True. If you obviously decide to become a bodybuilder, you're going to be a mesomorph, no matter if you started out skinny or you started out fat. If you follow the basic tenets of building muscle, you will become big. And pretty much the only reason I want to make this video is because people need to stop labeling, labeling themselves and labeling each other as these body types. One, because it's not steeped in any scientific fact. Even Sheldon himself said that no one person is one of these things. So is that just an appeal to ambiguity? So pretty much you can throw his whole theory out the window. But like I said, you need to stop pigeonholing yourself because you're just holding yourself back. You could achieve so much more if you started your weight loss or your muscle building journey in a positive mindset instead of saying, oh, I'm an ectomorph, I'm never gonna get big. Oh, I'm an endomorph, I'm never gonna lose fat. No, these things aren't true. If you apply the basic principles of muscle building or fat loss to your, to your lifestyle, it's inevitable. If you stick to it, if you are consistent, if you're persistent, if you're dedicated, 
your goal will be achieved. It just may take longer for some people, it may be quicker and easier for other people, but the reality is you just suck it up. And they've been holding themselves and the others into these three categories. And I wanna say this one last time. These things, these body types do not exist. They're not steeped in any sort of fact or any scientific reasoning. They're a bunch of bullshit that someone pretty much made up. So, stop saying I'm an ectomorph. Stop saying I'm an endomorph. You're automatically setting yourself up for failure. Just because someone may have it easier than you doesn't mean the same things aren't possible for you. So that's the video guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.